In today's video, I'm going to be controlling the career of Barcelona's new signing, Ferran Torres, for five seasons. Oh, let me see if I can actually put this one in the back of the net. Ferran! Ah, straight towards the keeper. Oh, well. All right, guys. Here I am with Barcelona. First thing we need to do is sign Ferran Torres. I'm surprised Barcelona have had the money to make this happen. Like, it's genuinely a bit mental. Apparently, they don't have money for Messi. Suddenly, they've got money for Ferran Torres. 55 million. Apparently, it's crazy. I don't think the transfer has been announced just yet. But according to Fabrizio Romano, the medical is happening right now. No Sterling, no Ziyech. It's Ferran Torres. And I think he's the best option. Because... Uh, I don't know, I've just got a feeling. A lot of nonsense there, wasn't it? And here's me tweeting about Ferran Torres, Ansu Fati, Ferran and Dembele. That's the front line we're going to have in this video. Oh boy. First up, guys, let's sign Ferran Torres. I think in-game he's going to be a lot more than 55 million. Bas have actually struck a really good deal for the 21-year-old. He's a starter for Spain, was a starter for City before his injury at the start of the season. So I think he's a baller. Let, let's try and bring him to Barcelona. By the way, over these five seasons, we're going to be keeping keeping him at Barcelona in this entire challenge. It's about him succeeding at Barca, this challenge. So we'll just pay whatever City asks us. This is probably going to be one of the only signings we make in this video. And there you go. Ferran Torres has been announced. We've announced him before Barcelona in real life. Hopefully by the time this video goes out, Barca would have announced the signing. I think we'll give him number 17. We'll take it away from Luke de Jong or maybe we'll give him number 19. Let's give him number 19. And of course, we're going to be keeping track of Ferran Torres's stats over these five seasons. I want to see him win a Ballon d'Or. Let's hope so. We got five seasons with Ferran Torres at Barcelona. Let's see what he can achieve here at the club. If you are excited for today's video, drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know if we should do this for more transfers that happen in January. Could be a good thing to do this month with all the new transfers that happen in the window. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get on with it. All right, here we go with season one. First question I've got is how on earth do I fit Ferran Torres in this side? I think it's kind of simple. Memphis Depay center forward. Oh, I'm not too sure. Apparently, Usman Dembele is going to renew his contract. So we'll make that happen in game two. He apparently posted like a story about him renewing with Barca and all. And also, he just got married out of nowhere. Fair enough, Usman. Congratulations on your wedding. But yeah, Ferran Torres, I think I want to make him a false nine. That's what Pep Guardiola used him for and that's what we're going to use him for. He's got great finishing and I feel like he's just perfect for that position. What about Memphis Depay then? Because he's going to be playing most of the time if we don't get rid of him or do something about it. Confusing times. Maybe we make Memphis a left winger so he'll be rotating with Ansu Fati. That's a lot smarter. That's a lot smarter. We want to get the best out of Ferran. This is his video, you know, it's obvious. I kind of don't want to be making signs in this video because it's all about trying to get the best out of Ferran Torres. Let's put Depay in here. Ferran Torres in here. Perfect. King Martin Braithwaite on the bench as well. How can we allow that not to happen? I think what I'll do is I'll allow myself one transfer every season from, of course, season two, but it can only be to replace like a 32 plus year old player so that, you know, we keep the video still about Ferran. Ooh, this is fun. We can now change Ferran Torres to a center forward. What's his over? all gonna be like. Ah, oh, it stays at 82, but with player growth, I think we can make him a really strong player. Penetrator. <laughs> Sounds nice. We'll chuck that on him and try and make him 83 as soon as possible. Gotta get that finishing stat up. All right, guys, we've got the team set up. That's probably how I would want the team to start every single game. It's just perfect. Good development plans and everything. Ansu, Ferran and Usman Dembele. That's a good front three if, you know, Ansu and Dembele can stay fit, but I'm so keen to seeing Ferran Torres's growth over this season. Let's get to the end and see what this Barca can do with Ferran Torres. Oh, by the way, did I forget to mention I've put Barcelona in the Europa League. That's where they belong at the moment. Hopefully, we'll soon be back in the Champions League. First season for our boy Ferran, and it's not too bad. He ends up winning La Liga. Did he end up winning anything else? No Super Cup. No Copa del Rey. Real Madrid won that. Barcelona getting knocked out early, but at least they win the league. What about the mighty Europa League? Wow, they actually finished second, but unbeaten in the group. That's fine. Do they have to play a preliminary round? And Ajax knocked out Barca. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's a bit of a weird one. Fair play Ajax, I guess. But wow, getting knocked out in the round of 32. I swear if Barca get knocked out in real life. Oh my god, the chaos. But Ferran couldn't help them there. Regardless, La Liga for the first season. Not too bad. Unbeaten as well. I didn't even see that. 
Invincible. Wow. Okay, bruh. 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 What? 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 <laughs> Ferran Torres is up to an 87 after one season. Oh my god. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna chuck in a pressing forward or something with passing. Let's get that passing and weak foot up. This man is a beast. 87 rated in the first season. I think we might have some ridiculous stats over the five seasons. 23 goals and 11 assists. Memphis step high. Oh my god. 39 goals. Ferran Torres though. What a season to start things off with. 23 goals, 11 assists and La Liga. Season 1's a massive success. Great success. Ferran Torres with a worldie in the first season. Didn't expect that, boys. But yeah, 23 goals and 11 assists for our boy Ferran. Wow, and this is just the start. Here we go, guys. Second season of Ferran Torres' career. I can only see things going up from here, but I think it's quite evident. Oh, maybe not. We've got Longley at the back with Araujo. I can run with that. Got to get Serginho Destes overall up, because if we want to win the Champions League, we need a few improvements. I said one signing per season. I think the signing I want to make this season is replacing Sergio Busquets with a better CDM. Let's get to it. How much money are we going to be working with? I think we'll have enough money to do so. We finished first in La Liga, so CDM um, let's let's sort that one out. Ferran Torres is in for I think another big season in that centre forward role. Who do I sign for CDM? Rodri seems like the perfect player. Literally, Rodri is is in my eyes the Busquets regen in real life regen for Sergio Busquets. I'ma just try maybe a swap deal between the two and see if that works. Why not? Do we have any average players that we can maybe use in a swap deal? And we don't really care all too much about. Yeah, I might just chuck in a Sergio Busquets in there, offer them 80 million alongside if it works it works they want a bit more just the one signing we need we'll just run with it oh just realized we've got Rodri joining in from Manchester City just like Ferran Torres so he's following his footsteps and there you go easy transfer to pull off he's joined the club there you go the one signing we've made for season two this team's great let's see what Ferran Torres does we've chucked him on another development plan if i if i do remember myself yep playmaker oh the penetrator one is still the bad thing on him or bombardier let's do this guys i think oh i'm unsure which one to put him on this just works better for him he'll just grow faster i guess so we'll just use this also he's not happy with his contract let's up it my god is he making bank here at barcelona now oh my god this is peak unluckiness 90 points same as atleti and Pass have lost the league by a goal difference of four. Wow, so close. No La Liga for Ferran at his second season at Barca. What about other competitions? Super Cup this time. So he's won the Super Cup once. Spanish Cup. Almeria in the final. How on earth did that happen? Champions League though. This time Barca topped the group. Brilliant. Round of 16 got through Milan. Quarterfinals got through Sevilla. Bayern Munich. Of course it's Bayern Munich that knocked them out. Oh boy. Good lord. The growth on Ferran Torres is in insane 91 in his second season my lord i think now the growth's gonna slightly slow down for him because he's just too good he really just is too good i'm gonna try and grow his passing stats from now on but my god 91 rated you know what let's give him some more money some more money to get that contract happiness up because why not 26 goals 10 assists this season he oh two goals short of being the top scorer but another solid season from this false nine playing for barca scored three in the champ Champions League. He's got to up that for next season, but wow. Why is Depay in midfield? W where did Pedri go? Guys, somebody's missing. Pedri's missing. Did he just leave the club out of nowhere? Yo, I think I know who our signing's gonna be then for next season. Stats-wise, I've updated the card. Forgot to do that before, but there you go. 91 center forward Ferran Torres. 49 goals, 21 assists. So far in a couple of seasons. Wow. Season 3, don't like the fact that Pedri left the gang, boys. We've built such a good Spanish base here. Need Pedri back in the setup, guys. Absolutely, we need Pedri. So I guess that's going to be the only signing we make for this season. Why isn't Serginho Desk growing alongside the rest of the boys? I'm confused, man. Serginho, what's up with your growth? Maybe because he's not playing all that much? Oh, I forgot to put a defensive plan or a plan in general on him. My fault. We'll give him a new contract to keep him happy, I guess. But yeah, let's bring back Pedri. Now, where has Pedri 
gone? That's the real question. Where did he leave and betrayed us? Bayern Munich, of course, Bayern. By the way, in real life, apparently they won Pedri, but we're bringing him back. There's no way Pedri stays away from us in this challenge. Let's bring him back to join the boys. We'll just pay whatever they want. We can only make the one signing, so let's just get him back at the club. So season three, we're signing a player we already had in Pedri. Hey, um, Titi leaves to join Arsenal. Of course, it's Arsenal agreeing to take another finished player. It is what it is. Your wife. <laughs> He's back, guys. He's back. He's back. Pedri is back at Barcelona. We're going to keep Gavi on the bench, I guess. And chuck in our boy Pedri in the starting 11. The team's looking great. Ferran Torres is leading the line once again. We're going to be getting through another season and seeing what's up. Let's do this, man. Maybe the Champions League this season. And there you go. Ferran Torres and boys managed to win La Liga. So two out of three seasons, we've won La Liga. Madrid being fourth is a big surprise. Barca lose the Super Cup to Atletico. That's not nice. What about the mighty Spanish Cup? There you go. First Copa del Rey for the boys in the video. That's that sorted. Now, what about the Champions League? Barca top their group. This is nice. 13 points. Round of 16. They beat Juventus. They got Liverpool out of the competition. They got PSG out on pens. And now it's Atletico in the final. Wow. No way, guys. Pedri is suspended for the Champions Champions League final. That is unreal. Wow. That is so unlucky. No Pedri for this game. Can Ferran and Co. get the job done? Oh boy. Yes, they can. Frankie de Jong with the first. Memphis scored, but they subbed off Ferran for Trincao. Why? Game, come on. Well, Ferran still gets the winner's medal of the Champions League, so there you go. Well, he's up to a 92 overall now. The development plan did its job and is doing its job. He should be 93 soon. That's a big dub. Like, his passing stat has gone up to an 84. I reckon we should keep growing that for now. Why not? Why not? And now stats-wise, another solid season. 25 goals, second top scorer for the team again, and another 13 assists. He's doing incredibly well. And we've now got Ferran Torres on 74 goals and 34 assists in three seasons. That is actually very, very good. And a Champions League too. Season 4 now, Ferran Torres has already won whatever he needed to win with Barca. The, the Champions League, La Liga, the Spanish Cup, literally everything. Next couple of seasons is all about just winning and scoring a few more goals and just adding on to that legacy. Let's hope we can do that. Now for this season, the only couple of signings I made, I made two, but that's because these guys just left the club for no reason. Neto and Serge Roberto, so I've brought them back. Neto was a free signing. Roberto had to pay Man United for him, so not making any new signings as such, just signing the players that just left the club so there you go signing for like 75 million bad business but here we got him gonna keep the squad as is for this fourth season and let's see what this Barca side can do and what Ferran Torres can do can we get him up to a 95 or a 96 rated player maybe we might we'll keep him on this plan for now and let's see how he progresses but those stats are just bonkers let's see at the end of the season where we are that is the best season we've had I think in this save in La Liga 100 plus points what a margin to win the league by 90 goals as well wow that's the third league title we've won in four seasons hopefully Ferran Torres can do this in real life too what's this champions trophy I didn't even know this was in the game oh this was the preseason tournament here I thought we had the club world cup in the game oh we won the super cup too what about the Spanish cup we won that domestic treble if you want to call that we won the UEFA super cup too let's go champions league we topped our group wolves in it and we showed them who's boss Romain Sy is fuming right now. And in the round of 16, RB Leipzig knocked us out. Would you believe it? Wow. Regardless, Ferran Torres with another great season. 31 goals, 13 assists. That's his best season. And he finishes his top scorer. Keeps getting better, man. Keeps getting better. 94 overall as well right now. I think he's going to slow down on his growth. And I don't think he's going to ever hit 95. But we'll chuck him on the penetrator plan again. And let's see what happens. But what another great season from Ferran. Ferran. Honestly, these are such reliable numbers, man. To come up with 105 goals and 47 assists, it's just what he wanted. If in real life he does this, Barca are going to be very happy with the deal.
It's time for the final season and look at this. Testegan's about to betray the gang. And by the way, our squad is so thin. I don't know what's going to happen if Testegan leaves us. I don't want to risk this game glitching out or something because Testegan has agreed to betray us um, and join Bayern Munich. We need another keeper and we need to do that fast. We're going to not have any squad depth this season, but it's fine. Who do we sign as a keeper? Oh, let me think, let me think. Who would be great? Let's bring back Onana to Barcelona. Why not? That's going to be the signing we make for this season. Season to replace De Stegen. Signing Onana as the replacement for Mark andre De Stegen. Um, and our squad has been filled with a regen to cope with the absences. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna go ahead and sign a few players who were at Barcelona and I just couldn't renew their contracts or whatever because, yeah, this is not right. We're not gonna end off this challenge with, like, 60 rated players. What on earth are you doing at Brighton, my guy? We're gonna sign Nico Gonzalez. Let me just get the negotiations sorted for him. That Balde kid, where's he gone now? Let's bring him back to Barcelona. Left back Balde, where on earth are you? There you are. Well, he oh, he's already at Barca. Okay, wow. Didn't know that. What about Mingueza? Surely he wasn't at the club. Yeah, he's a free agent, guys. We'll just sign him up. Why not? Where's a boy Trincao now? I need a bit of squad depth. Where's Trincao? There he is. We're going to sign him up too. He's at Spurs chilling, but nope, we're going to bring him back. There you go. Trincao is back too, and I reckon now we have enough players to just get through the season without much of a problem. So, gonna put West Trincao. Have I not signed him yet? Oh, I think it's gonna take a bit of time. Whatever. We'll put Gonzalez in there. Mingueza in there for now. And soon we should have Trincao. Why is there a hold up? I'm pretty sure I signed him. Oh, gotta get the wages done. Okay, we'll do that. And now it's done. Francisco Trincao has been signed. We've kind of sorted out the squad depth issues. We'll put Trincao, I guess, on the bench for Mingueza. That's fine. I think we've got the squad sorted now. We're gonna get through the season with this team oh no 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 i need to make one more signing guys balde is 71 rated and is own our only left back let's just boost up this team a bit for the final season by getting jose gaia at least oh we can just pay his release clause i know that sounds crazy but we've got the money let's just save time there you go jose gaia contract accepted final signing of the challenge done we put him straight into the team and we're looking great now this team is looking like ballers in the 11 we're gonna sim through the season with this side final season for Ferran Torres we've even made him captain we can also see if he's won the Ballon d'Or I've been checking whether he wins the Ballon d'Or or not but in the four seasons he hasn't so is this the season let's see pretty sure the Ballon d'Or gets announced sometime in December so I'll manually sim through December just to know when okay something's happened well at least Ferran Torres is getting himself with an interview okay UEFA team of the year shortlists are out and soon I reckon we'll find out whether he's won the Ballon d'Or just gotta be careful while simming UEFA team of the year forward shortlist but there's no Ferran Torres this is wrong man this is wrong <laughs> Okay, manager of the year is announced and it's Pochettino, but there is no player of the year just yet. Maybe soon. Ferran Torres rises to the occasion. UEFA team of the year has been announced and Ferran Torres is in there. I don't know how he wasn't in the nominees, but he's he's there. But Ballon d'Or is not there. When does that show up then? Did I completely miss it? Well, he's in the team of the year at least. Man, I guess I missed it. Oh lord, anyways. Final season and oh, wow. Um, fourth in La Liga, our worst finish. Maybe because of lack of squad depth. If we've done well in other competitions, maybe it's worth it. No Super Cup, won the Spanish Cup. Okay now, you wait for Super Cup or we weren't in it. What about the mighty Champions League? Did I just say the Champions League is mighty? Nah, nah, nah. That meme is just for the Carabao Cup. Anyways, what about the Champions League? We topped our group with Inter in it. Not bad. Didn't lose a single game. Round of 16. Got through Spurs, just about. Got through Bayern Munich in the quarters. And Manchester. United and in the final season with Ferran Torres he's gonna be facing his former club couldn't have scripted it any better and let's see what we can do in this final against Manchester City oh boy Ferran Torres 95 rated now let's go I'm eager to see what happens here and it's a 2-1 win Dembele and Ferran scoring oh my god you couldn't have scripted it any better and a cult hero a channel favorite Adiemi getting one for them you couldn't have scripted this any better again this former team taking the Champions League away. So two Champions Leagues for Ferran in the five seasons and three La Ligas as well. Very successful, I'd say. And we've managed to get him to a 91 of 95 overall. 91, what am I even saying? And actually, if we go through another season, he'd be hitting 96. 
Because 59 weeks with the Bombardier plan, he'll keep growing. Mental that we've managed to hit 95 in five seasons. Another solid season. Top scorer for us for back-to-back -back seasons. 31 goals and 9 assists. And there you go. We end off the challenge with Ferran Torres being extremely successful at Barca. Well, according to this, he's done a brilliant job. Won 36 goals and 56 assists in five seasons. Two Champions League, three La Ligas. What more do you want? With that, we're going to be wrapping up the video. Really enjoyed putting Ferran Torres at Barcelona. Let's see what else transfers happen in real life. Maybe we can do videos around that. Maybe for players not at Barcelona, because I know the comments are going to be pissed about this one. But new signing, mega signing for Barca. Had to make this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for new round, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.